Hello, my beautiful Mystic Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective reading for all signs. This is not for any particular horoscope sign. This is more about the daily energy of affirming and manifesting what you're trying to achieve in your life right now. And that means that uh, this is our absolutely relentlessly optimistic reading. <laughs> if you'd like a standard tarot reading or one of the services that I provide, you can visit royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. I have many different techniques that I use and different kinds of readings uh, to assist you. Also, you'll see the link to the Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop where you can find the beautiful crystals and different things that I have, like my beautiful crystal spray. Uh, that have the, the little extensions for the different directional energy and they have different uh, kinds. I have the um, um, amethyst and rose quartz and obsidian. So it, they're very cool and wonderful energy. So and plenty of other crystals and rings and jewelry, all of the different curiosities. You also have uh, the link to become a Vibe Tribe member should you choose to do so. I have a weekly uh, Vibe Tribe workshop and we have the daily meditations. So you can check all that out at royalmystic.com. And with that being said, we'll get right into the reading. Our energy is the Seven of Cups with the Four of Swords. Now. The Seven of Cups is being inundated with the energy of abundance, abundance, abundance. I call this the dump truck load of blessings, which means um, it is fabulous that it's coming in, but it does require some energy and work, which we want to be on a high vibe. So it's telling you before, during, and after you get this huge uh, landslide of blessings or avalanche of blessings be ready be in a place of being rested allow yourself to take good care of yourself if you were taking care of another person that you really loved you would be making sure they had good food and you would make it be making sure they ate regularly at the right time and that they slept enough you know as though you really love this person so love yourself and be be there in a place of collective rejuvenation restoration okay because you're going to need it <laughs> this dump truck a load of blessings is no joke uh it shows up and you're just going like a maniac you hit the ground running so it is all the things you want but you want to be prepared to be able to handle getting them all at once that's the caveat to this card so let's see what we have thank you angels archangels divine pure white light Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, sorry, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. Your presence is always welcome and very appreciated. And we have our three down. We had some action with the cards, a lot of energy movement. When they're fussy like that, I know it's cool. Oh, wonderful. The Chariot. Yay, Chariot. So this is the Cancer Major Arcana. It's also a victory. This is amazing energy of taking a giant... <laughs> one small step for mankind, one giant, well, one small step for, I don't remember the word. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There you go. Divine, thank you for helping me on that because my mind was blank. So, yes, this is the moment where you take the bounding leap forward. This is a victory. This is being seen in the limelight. This is celebration, upgrade of all things, upgrading spiritually, physically, emotionally, and financially, all things. So this is huge energy. It's also called the Hollywood card. It's where you're seen in the limelight. So your victory will also 
probably be noticed by others. We have instincts as our top card. I act on my instincts and notice the signs and symbols in my life. Well, that's a big symbol when you see a chariot flying. <laughs> that's, a, that's a noticeable sign. But pay attention. Birds, different, uh, you know, things that just show up. I just had a movie show up. Um, I'll share it with the, everybody on a post, but it's called... Uh, sensitive and it is about being an extra sensory person who who grew up in a world that didn't know what that meant right so um, it's called sensitive the underlying story I'll, I'll post it I'll post a picture of it so that everybody can see but it's on uh, Tubi T-U-B-I it's free television you can look it up there if you are have a mind to Courage. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. Beautiful energy. This would be absolutely allowing yourself to take the leap. So being in a place of courage is allowing yourself to go forward. Even though it may not make sense. And it... it, it may not make logical sense you feel the urge to do it and you know this is your destiny or you feel like it's the next step um, sometimes we have to take take a chance on something for it's really not a chance because the universe is trying to line you up however we feel like we're uncertain and we don't trust our own instincts which was the first card so I think that goes together trust <laughs> trust and instincts that, that's a sign. The first card we had was instincts. Now we have the courage to bravely go forward and trust your instincts. So very strong energy there. Good message. Let's see what our cards have to say. The bottom card on this was the cosmic donut. If you watch my readings, you know what I mean. It's a really beautiful card. And I saw it when I was like, oh, yes, I receive it. It's a beautiful energy of abundance and prosperity. So we have conception, which is also beautiful. This is where your idea brings something from the what you've been concentrating on. Your idea literally turns into reality. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibility of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So conception, beautiful word, beautiful card, loving the energy here. Now our top card here is today I give my best to that which I do, knowing when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. My work is deeply fulfilling. I love that she's catching stars with her butterfly net, shooting for the stars. Today I give my best to that which I do, knowing that when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. Absolutely beautiful energy. My work is deeply fulfilling. This is how you manifest your perfect job. You don't, it doesn't say what the job is. It just says my work is deeply fulfilling and that you get into a place of bringing it in through your belief that what you are thinking is going to come to you. I claim my own power and lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding 
so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. Beautiful, beautiful energy. This is when you openly ask like this, the universe will plop something down in front of you that answers. So part of being in a place of receiving and, and communicating with your higher self and with the divine is to understand who you are internally. Part of that is to, to reclaim the idea that you are a divine being in a human body. We are having this human experience, uh, not the other way around, right? We're not humans having a spiritual experience. We're spirit having a human experience. So going within, allowing yourself to kind of change the way you look from within, and then everything else outside of you starts to change the way it reacts to you. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is the energy of abundance. And she is very grounded. She has her... This is a beautiful picture because it's got her orb levitating and it's, it is the pinnacle, so it means abundance, but it can be abundance in spirit, uh, all things abundant, right? So financially fabulous. I mean, she's got money in hand, she's got good control of it, and it's literally fertile because it's right here in front of her, her um, sacral chakra and her heart chakra and her solar plexus is right between them. So that's a beautiful energy of, of creation and source bringing in new things. Man, this is a fabulous Tuesday, guys. We have the Ten of Cups. So, and we have a beautiful icosahedron here in the sacred geometry part of it. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And this allows for the harmony with the universe to bring in what you're manifesting. So this is an accomplishment. Anytime you get a 10, it's a cycle being completed. And this one is a cycle of connection to love, hope, joy, peace, abundance, healing, harmony, wonderful energy. So as we end on that fabulous note, I send you all a very wonderful blessed day. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.